Hello everyone, Astro Kit here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about your ascendant sign. And basically your ascendant sign is so important in astrology. Um, your ascendant is kind of how you are perceived by the world. Um, it's kind of like your first impression. And if you guys didn't know already, um, you have like a big three in astrology. So you have your sun sign, which we all know, you have your moon sign, and then you have your ascendant sign. And in order to calculate your ascendant sign, you do have to know your birth time and the place you're born um, and a bunch of other details. Um, so what you can do is click the link in my bio down below. If you don't have your birth chart yet, um, all you have to do is enter the information in that link on that page and you'll get your birth chart and then you'll know your ascendant sign. And then also with your ascendant, it's really important to know your exact birth time because um, your ascendant sign can change from hour to hour. So um, you really have to know the exact time to know your exact ascendant. And then also, um, most of you guys probably know, it's called a rising sign as well. So your rising sign and ascendant sign is the same thing, just two different words. So yeah, I'm gonna get right into the video. Um, I do have a blog post about this on my website already. So go ahead and visit my website. It's called theastrokit.com. I'll also link it down below. And there you can read a little bit more in depth about your ascendant sign. So yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay, so now for Gemini risings. Okay, so for Gemini risings, if you guys don't know already, the main difference between your sun sign and like your ascendant sign is that your ascendant sign is really how you approach life, whereas your sun sign is kind of like who you are. So if you think about your sun sign, we all know our sun signs. Um, it's really who you are at your core, but it's not necessarily how you project yourself. It's not necessarily how people see you right away. So that's why a lot of the times people might be like, oh, you seem like a Scorpio, but you're like a Leo, but you might have a Scorpio ascendant. So your ascendant is really how you approach life. It's kind of how you project yourself. Um, it's kind of like your attitude towards life. And then conversely, it's how people kind of see you or how they perceive you or how they perceive your image. And ascendant really rules your physical appearance as well. Okay, so for Gemini rising. Okay, so for Gemini risings, I feel like the main characteristic I notice about you guys is that you're very social. Like if you think about Gemini energy, it's very curious. Um, it naturally wants to like have conversations with people. They're very social naturally. Like if you're a Gemini sun, especially if it's on your ascendant, that's really how you approach life. Like life to you involves communication. Like that's the biggest, like almost like the driving force in your life is communication. Like with Gemini Risings, you're like, okay, what conversations am I going to have? Um, who am I going to hang out with? Um, how am I going to communicate my ideas? Um, you also might have a talent for speaking. I feel like, oh my god, Gemini Risings are such great speakers. Um, you might be a great writer as well. I mean, um, Mercury rules Gemini, right? So you might just be great at talking. You might be great at conversating. You might be great at writing. Any form of communication, especially if you're naturally creative. I mean, Gemini Rising is really creative, but like even for like a career, like you might be a YouTuber, you might be like a public speaker of some sort, but you never get tired of that. Like I feel like Gemini's love talking, they love communicating. Um, it's just really what fulfills you in life. And then also I feel like um, going with the friendly social aspect, you love collaborating with others. Like you love, um, you might love doing group projects. I don't know, it depends, but I feel like you just love collaborating. You love um, being creative with others. And then also I would say you kind of approach life in a very curious way. So you might be very adventurous. Like I feel like you're the friend that always wants to try new things. Like you're always down to try a new restaurant or a new club or a new bar or something. Like you're always down to try new things. You're always down to learn new things. Um, you're always down to meet new people. You're just so open-minded. I really like that about Gemini Risings. They're just very curious and open-minded and they can be very adventurous as well. And then Gemini Risings can be very funny as well. I feel like they're that funny friend. Um, they're very playful naturally. They're not like a super serious person. And I also feel like they're very great at breaking the ice because of that. Like they're not like the super serious person. They're, they're gonna come in and be playful. They're gonna make jokes. They're gonna talk to everyone. They're not just gonna be like, you know what I mean? Okay, so now for physical traits. I feel like Gemini Risings, um, they can naturally look very young. Like you might be like 25, but you look like you're 18. And then also you might be very slender or petite. Um, it really depends on like your other aspects. And then also given your Gemini Rising, I feel like your sense of style um, isn't super concrete. Like you might wear like, like for example, one day you might be very into like the boho look or the next day you might be in a very classy look. Like you're just very versatile. I feel like your appearance is very versatile. It's not like, oh, here's this person and they always look like that. Like it changes over time. And then like I said, you look very young for your age, I feel like. Especially if you're a girl or even a guy, you might still get carded when you go places. 
is and that's because um gemini risings have a very youthful appearance okay guys so that's pretty much it i hope you found this video helpful or you related to it again i do have a blog post about this already on my site um it is called theastrokit.com and I will be linking that down below so you can just click that and visit my site. And then also on my site I have my services so I do do natal chart readings. Um, I do some other things too so if you guys are interested um, go ahead and click my site and email me if you want a consultation. But yeah that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.